Hey family, and we're back. Yes, we're coming back to you with another hot salacious story out there on none other than Nene Leakes trying to get on her son about acting appropriately during the coronavirus period that we're going through. Okay, the story we're getting it from is from All About the Tea. Yes, and a staff writer for them put out a story titled Nene Leakes Rips Her Son Brent, which is her younger son, for exposing her and Greg Leakes to the coronavirus. And I'm like, Nene, Nene nee, girl. <laughs> no, I think you kind of misguided on that situation, that point, because, honey, the coronavirus was out there last year, okay? The latter part of last year, if I'm not mistaken. And we really started hearing about it these last two months. But, hey, they would tan up the corona, corona, Mr. Corona and Miss Virus, they would tan up in the UK, okay, Italy, all over there, just tan up after they left, um, or after they left, or escaped, or put out, however you want to look at it, from China, okay, it started in China, then it went to Italy, France, over there in Britain, honey, then it started making its way over here to the North America, okay, the North America continent over here, all right, affecting all 50 states, all 52, however you look at it. Yes, okay. And it has definitely made its way down to the south, and it's cutting up. It was up there in the north, cutting up in New York, still cutting up. And it done wait, made its way down south, okay. So I'm like, nay, 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 girl. My sidebar before I get into the article, if anybody need to be looked at about bringing the coronavirus back to Greg Leakes and his already weakened immune system from him battling his cancer okay it's you nene you the one still going on these talk shows traveling here there everywhere around the globe honey and you just said no no more than a week or two ago when you were having a closet fit of you dropping all your suitcases down because you didn't want to put them up and you didn't want to fix up your closet because clothes were everywhere. Yeah, I caught your little closet gate, little thing you were doing. And you the one been doing all that traveling out there. So if anybody need to be side eyed and looked at at a you know from a different perspective, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and judge yourself before you go get on Mr. Brent. Okay. Because they told us not to be out there traveling, okay? In them highways, byways, in the ass, the trains, the planes, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The boats, okay? But you was over there still making your rounds, doing what you needed to do to stay relevant out on them streets. So, I'm going to look at you for looking at Brent. Because call a spade a spade first. Look at yourself. Then you go bother Brent about his behavior and he just was 18 20 20 years old he need to have his own place if he gonna cut up show him the dough and shouldn't greg be getting on his ass okay shouldn't greg be getting on his ass like it's a curfew out there for a reason son i bought that car i could take it away just as quick as it was given to you it can be taken away, okay? See, like you're having trouble with your boys, Nene. Where is the man at, honey, that's supposed to be handling their asses? Now, we know that's Greg's son. So, Greg need to be all up in that ass, okay? I don't care if he wanted to go out and bark to the moon, okay? He wouldn't be out there. Point, period, and blank. So, that's just my sidebar before we get into the article. But I want to say, hey, family, how y'all doing? What y'all doing? And get down in these comments and talk with me, okay? Come over here and talk with me. Say, hey, glad you back. What you doing, girl? Some to that effect, okay? Because it's been dry over here. I haven't been with y'all. So I'm playing catch up, all right? So come on over here and catch up with me. And let's talk about subject matters and anything else y'all want to talk about about okay but we're gonna go on and in, get into this story about nene nene leaks trying to get on her son let's see what it says okay it says real housewives of atlanta star nene leaks have revealed that she blasted her son brant's leaks because she believes that his casual social distancing standard has put her husband greg leaks 
health at risk. Now, I already done gave you my sidebar about social distancing and putting Greg Leakes and her health at risk. Okay. Needy Leakes 52 took to social media to share that she ripped into her 21-year-old son, Brent Leakes, because she fears his frequent public outings could leave her, and especially her husband, vulnerable to the coronavirus. Nay, nay. It can not only leave you vulnerable, but it can uh, leave Brent vulnerable as well. Because it's not just after the old season people, baby. Not our age group and not our parents age group. No, it's affecting 14 year olds. Get into it. Do your research, baby. 14 year olds all the way up to the elderly, honey. Okay, so like I said, you have been making appearances in social media, traveling here and there, talking to different um, social media platforms such as uh, where Ellen or hell, wherever you was just doing, you know, your rounds when it comes to the entertainment world. You already done brought shit home to Greg, okay? Being on them airplanes, congregating with all those peoples in that tight little of space so get on yourself even though i know you need to make your money just that and the third but get on yourself because if you were self-made in that way you would make your own rules and saying no the corona is out there mr corona and miss virus they tying up so we need to do some shit well i skype y'all from home like we're doing now that's what you should have been doing at the first part of the year in january or at least at the latter part but no 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 you've been going making your whole circle see that's the shit you need to be whooping his ass about you just leased that jeep bought that jeep however he's standing on top of the jeep see that's an ass whooping right there he wouldn't see them keys for about a month because that ain't how you treat a car that's spoiledness right there. Because anybody that get their first car and it's a brand new something like that, they going to cherish that. I ain't going to say they going to praise it and be worshiping it and all that. But damn, it, it, it sure wouldn't be no disrespect to him standing up on top of that Jeep. Okay? Child, that's what you need to be getting on his ass about. Like, that ain't no toy. That shit can kill you. If you, you, you handle it wrong out, out, out there in them streets, okay? But you damn sure don't get on top of it. Like you on top of the world or some sort of that. And, and the, the world is your oyster when you living off my paycheck, okay? Like, why Brent ain't in school somewhere? That's what we need to be asking, Nene. Why he ain't in school? Or why he's not out there in the entertainment field he chose to be? Why is he, you know, looking like he ain't got nothing going on for himself but to ride off your money? Is he your assistant? What What's going on? Ooh. But anyway, moving back to the article, it says followers know that Greg 63 recently completed a successful cancer treatment, leaving him in double high risk demographics. Now, as we know, anybody got health issues. You got high cholesterol. You got high blood pressure. You got asthma. Uh... Any other parts that may leave you vulnerable. Hell, just old age, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Leaving you with a compromise or a defect in your immune system. Yes, you're at high risk. You could be diabetic as well. And you're at high risk. So, and then he fuss at you as well as Brent. Okay. But then going back to the article, it says, In the sense to lead an Instagram story, Nene shared her frustrations with her followers. First of all, I'm upset with my youngest son, and I'm upset because he had been doing good. He had been staying in since this whole thing started, Nene said in the video. The reality star explained the re uh, restrictions the couple initially put in place. His dad and I were like, okay, just ride around and get in your car and ride around. Use social distancing. Don't talk to anybody nene leak said now nene my thing is you're gonna get the keys to a young adult <laughs> you're gonna tell them what you feel they should be doing and you really actually think they're gonna follow directions girl please i would say take a over you want to go out there and you want to hang with your friend i know that's where you want to go then guess what take a uber or better yet tell your friends to come pick you up but since you don't have a job, you have no income or whatnot, I'm taking care of you. I'm providing food, shelter, and clothing for you. Uh, yeah. 
sit your ass down somewhere okay the house is big enough go on one side so i don't have to see your ass but no that's why people were asked to stay at home go out in the backyard do a uh, fly what do you call that a frisbee around hey we got a dog chase the frisbee and the dog you know whatever do you but make sure you do it on these grounds okay now if you want to feel frisky you want to jump froggy go and get your own shit okay you can stay out there all day long when the cops lock your ass up because it is mandatory that you stay in don't call me i'm gonna say well he's better off where he at okay let him stay there all right now i'll pick him up in the morning okay that's how we would have played that but anyway going back to the article it said uh when i called him i could hear other guys in the background no, he said, oh, I'm sorry. Then today he asked his dad if he could go out again. Nina Leakes explained before revealing what triggered her anger. When I called him, I could hear other guys in the background. So I know he was around guys and I'm really getting pissed off. It's about 8 o'clock. He's just now heading this way. Nene Leakes explained. His curfew is at 9. Nene, that's everybody's curfew. What do you mean his curfew? No, everybody's curfew. And like I said, if he didn't take an Uber... He wouldn't be in that Jeep trying to go and come from nowhere, okay? He could do pit and pat, meaning his two feet left and right, pit and pat. He can do that all day long if he wanted to go meet his friends or whatever. Yeah, and they stay six feet apart from each other. That's called social distancing like that. But if he's congregating with more than 10 people, he already done broke the law. Hell, he broke the first initial law when he was talking about he tired of sitting up in that house. Well, damn, go get you a damn job, okay? Go get your job and then you holler about not being able to uh stay at home like everybody else okay because on a privy few are at home some of us are still out there hitting them payments having to have to go to work who i tell you the hypocrisy of it all of these rich kids and their parents not handling them accordingly okay but that's my sidebar going back it says um his curfew is at nine and he could have and he could have me or Greg sick. That's my whole thing. A lot of the young people don't seem to understand how serious this is, especially for someone who has had some sort of health issue in the past. I'm like, Nene, didn't you just see them kids in um Florida hanging around that beach and stuff when that governor or mayor should have shut that shit down? And I'm pretty sure half of them got the coronavirus that they taking back home all free willy nilly to their parents and their grandparents and all that stuff, making a whole uh entire state sick, okay? But it's just is what it is, okay? You're raising Brett, you and Greg, and Greg is the father, he's supposed to be setting the tone. All right, so I don't want to hear it. Get your shit together. Keep it offline. But see, you got to have a storyline. You got to stay out there relevant. Rev- what do you call it? Relevant. So you got to do these little things. I would have never came online, you know, telling y'all what my daughter did or whatnot. Uh, you, if anything, you would have probably saw me on news, okay? Saying uh, Dale Chanel like they almost being her child to death because she uh, didn't come back home when she spoke to. Or... I took the car or something to that effect. Because I've been doing that, but I ain't no celebrity. I've been doing that in the past when I gave my daughter her first uh, used car. She didn't get a brand new car. I was like, damn, you get a brand new car, you get this shit yourself, okay? And she understood what I was talking about because she sure got a brand new car, okay? Got two brand new cars when she got her own job and got her stuff. But when I had to pay for it, uh-uh, honey, it was the ABC car. It wasn't leaking no carbon monoxide and then like that. But, hey, it was something that got her to and fro, okay? It wasn't meant to go out of town, but she pushed them limits, too, okay? But it just is what it is. You got to learn your kids. Can't get them every single thing. You got to make them work for it. Then they'll appreciate it better. But you see how Brent was sitting up on top of that brand new Jeep. He didn't care about that. His mom bought that. So, he, he don't know nothing about that. He, he tied it up. She'll get him something else. But when he had to sit up there in that grind and get it for himself, oh, he going to have some newfound respect because that's his money. You see what I'm saying? But this is what it is. Going back to the article, it said, um, Nina Leakes later post a passionate Instagram warning encouraging young people to take social distancing serious. Now, this is coming from the lady who is out there not practicing social distances, doing interviews and this, that, and the third. Really? Ain't that the cop pot calling the kettle black, Nene? 
Girl, please. Anyway, going back to the article, it says, I'm really getting pissed off that so many people are not taking this serious because it hasn't direct, directly affected them or someone they know. People are hurting, losing loved ones. A lot of young people are just not taking it serious because you want to hang out. Your life should mean more than effing hanging out. You see the date getting pushed further and further because of non-believers. We at April 30th now. This is real. Okay, and I'm going to pay y'all a little click clip on <coughs> what Nene is pretty much saying she wanted us to hear if it will play without buffering. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, and that pretty much was it. Um, I don't know if you can really find it on her channel or, or her social media channel, Instagram channel. Cause I think they said she took it down or whatnot. But my whole thing was, Nene, you were wrong basically trying to come up here and blast her son. That shit would have been, you know, handled in-house. And next time we saw Brent, he would have been like Pat and Lay. How my mama said Pat and they, your left and right foot hit the pavement, honey. Okay. Yes. So that's what he's been using. Or calling Uber. Okay. Calling Uber, going stand with somebody else. You know, whatever. We have to set the tone as parents to let these children know. You, once you under our roof, you will do and say and come and go as we see fit. Okay. And then. I'm paying for your Jeep or I purchased the Jeep for you and I still have the title or whatnot. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Who are you talking to? Because you got me twisted. You got me effed up. Okay. You talking to the wrong OG, the old mama G. Okay, what I'm saying? You, you, uh -uh, you got one son out there she don't buy the house for. And I know she's smart enough not to put it in his name. Then she got her youngest son standing on a goddamn truck. Okay? Like he is conquering the world. He bought that truck. Or he making notes on that truck. Then she got sick gray. <laughs> I'm like, girl, 
you got a conundrum of issues of in your household, okay, that you need to definitely handle off air. Okay, need to handle off air. Start taking shit. They gonna have shit, so they won't be complaining about shit. You see what I'm saying? If they complain, go take it out. Go go take it up with yourself. Get a job, get your own place, and you see how you feel. Can you come back and have an adult conversation after that? Okay, but since you're not in that type of situation, <laughs> stay in a child's place. Okay, stay in a child's place when you want to be grown. Do grown things. Get your own. Don't have me signing or, or giving money for nothing. Do you all day, boo. And then we can have another grown to grown person conversation. Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Nene trying to bus up her son, uh, Brent, her youngest son. But she can't say two shakes of a shit heel about her oldest son as well or herself about this fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity that she's been doing, bringing Mr. Corona and Miss Virus to her own household with her traveling around the different states doing interviews, okay? Keeping herself relevant in those streets out there, paved in gold like Hollywood. Hollywood! Ooh. Yes, okay, so Nene Leaks, uh-uh, shade yourself before you try to come for your sons or your youngest son. Shade yourself, get it all out, and then ask him, are you taking out to your mama, honey? Are you going to try to just get us all sick out here? Okay, take them car keys, Nene, okay? Stop traveling, Nene. Stay your ass in the house, Nene. Stop calling the kettle black, okay? Or the pot, the kettle calling the pot black. It's still the same shade you trying to throw at your son that you should be throwing at yourself. But anyway, family, what say you, fam, about this particular subject matter? All right? Do she have a case or she need to be charged herself? Okay? Or do we have to say, next case? <laughs> Both Nene and her son need to be Put behind the bars of staying inside. Okay, they need an extra 30 days seclusion in their own home. Because they both have definitely broke the cardinal rule. Which was given. Stay your asses in the house. If you must go out, go and smell the backyard by the pool. Get it all in, okay? And then K your ass back in the house. Because like I said, I think it's airborne. They trying to say it's not this, that, and the third. But I still think it's airborne. Okay, and that's what I'm going with. But fam, y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. Get in there and interact with one another. Because you know I see it all. All right? And be respectful to one another. And I will see y'all tomorrow for more videos. All right, guys. I'm back. And talking shit. Okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share to the channel.